Hi, Poro here with another guide, this time for LeBlanc support. I'm writing the script now, and honestly, I'm dreading having to draw LeBlanc. It's really not going to look good at all. Anyway, this is a pick that I'm really in love with, and I feel like it could definitely see play. When I think of supports, I think of a couple main qualities. I like supports to have utility such as CC or disengage, I like supports to be able to contest in 2v2s, and I like supports to have a large impact in teamfights. LeBlanc fits all of these categories pretty well, and she doesn't need a damage build to do it. To start it off, I'll explain how LeBlanc works in lane, and then how she works once lane is over. Spoiler, I think she's pretty okay in lane, and has a fantastic mid to late game. LeBlanc's lane phase is definitely not as good, and your main objective is to survive lane in order to get to the teamfights, but that doesn't mean that LeBlanc has no usage in lane. Her kit synergizes well for most 2v2 matchups. Due to her long range and fast burst, she can easily play with bushes and look for chunks of burst damage with her QWW combo. This combo is most likely too fast for the enemy to react to, and will basically net you a free trade with no consequences. LeBlanc also has her fast straight line route, which can act as an engage option after QW, or just to surf for E and go if one hits. LeBlanc does a great job at mitigating engages, as she has enough base damage and kill threat that if your ADC gets engaged on, LeBlanc can counter-engage the enemy ADC and usually either damage them enough to win the trade, or force the enemy support to back off your ADC and help. However, this is not to say that you are invincible in lane. While your main trade combo is mostly hard to react to, it is possible for the enemy to quickly react and CC you as you W in. It can also be hard to maintain bush priority if the enemy duo is aggressive enough since your E doesn't root outright and has a sizable cooldown early if it misses. Your W also has a long cooldown early, so your poke isn't as oppressive as it might appear to be. It can also be difficult to play pushed up under the turret because your trade combo is difficult to get off without taking a turret shot. LeBlanc's best laning power comes in her roams. Her roams are deadly due to how much potential her combo has for lethal. If you land an E, the laning you're ganking for will probably die. LeBlanc can also ward in more dangerous situations due to her mobility. You can either W in range of where you want to ward and W back to avoid any potential traps, or you can hold on to W while in enemy jungle and use it to avoid danger when it presents itself. As I stated before though, the value of support LeBlanc comes not through the lane phase, but in the later stages of the game. Your power spike comes after buying Everfrost, and your build afterwards will be a Zhonya's, a Wardstone, and then Banshee's. We can afford to build defensively and cheaply like this because your job isn't to do damage. Instead, your job is to look for Everfrost set up with your dashes, and then take advantage of the fact that you have three separate roots. You can play super aggressively with these roots due to your Zhonya's and later Banshee's. While you don't have the ability to burst squishies instantly, you do still have quite a large amount of base damage paired with a respectable amount of AP and can output huge chunks of damage. With the amount of CC and mobility in your kit, your teamfight presence is off the charts. Mid-game and late-game really are your bread and butter. The ability to ward aggressively with little risk is a fantastic support skill alone, but the big upside of LeBlanc roaming for vision is that she takes on the role of the attacker when she's found instead of the other way around. Most support champs need to be careful when looking for vision, and will die or need to burn summoners when they get caught. LeBlanc completely flips the script, and the enemy team have to be careful when LeBlanc is roaming for vision. As mentioned before, she can output chunks of damage while staying safe, and has amazing setup with long durations of CC, meaning that her ability to find picks for her team is very high. Overall, your role as LeBlanc support is to play as a disruptor to the enemy team, forcing them to feel uncomfortable at all stages of the game. In a sense, LeBlanc is a better version of Shaco support, which was actually my original inspiration for trying it out. For runes, you'll take Glacial Augment or Electrocute. The choice is highly dependent on your playstyle, with Glacial being the more utility-based keystone with your root and Everfrost, and Electrocute being a more lane and mid-game pick dominant rune for burst damage. I always opt for Glacial, and I take both Stopwatch and Futures Market with Cosmic Insight. Cosmic Insight is very important, as every core item you get has an item cooldown, and your main aggression comes from whether these cooldowns are available or not. Stopwatch and Futures serve the same purpose, which is to guarantee that you'll finish at least Everfrost and Zhonya's over the course of the game, which are the two items that allow you to unleash in teamfights. There are a couple of options for secondary runes, but after the new changes in the most recent patch, I really like going Domination Secondary for Treasure Hunter and Zombie Ward. The Zombie Ward is yet another tool to take advantage of how well LeBlanc can ward, and the Treasure Hunter amplifies LeBlanc's roams and allows her to get those important item actives. This is why Ionian Boots is a must, as it will pair with the item actives as well. Due to how important this is, I would say never go Sorgs. You're a support, and your job is not to kill people. 
The Electrocute page is really similar, with Inspiration Secondary to go Stopwatch and Cosmic Insight. TLDR, good trading potential in lane, risk-free aggressive warding, great pick potential, and lots of disruption in teamfights. That's all I got for this guide. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like or subscribing. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash psychopathicporo, so maybe I'll see you there. I also have a Discord server, and I'd be happy to answer questions about any of these guides there or in the comments. See ya.